Hello YouTube, today I will be reviewing my LEGO Transformer Decepticon Scavenge. So, here we have the figure in his robots mode. Uh, nothing too special. I tried to do a good job of clearing all the studs, making them not as visible, but I think I did a good job at that. The only real studs are on the wings and on the back, but no one looks at the back anyway. So here he is. And now, getting on to articulation, please don't break. For articulation, his head can look up, scroll, yay. It can look down, then it has 360 degrees of movement. The sword shoulder can move a little bit up, or you can move it back and have it go all the way up. His arm rotates, his elbow doesn't really do much. And that's it for the arms. Moving down, he has a ball joint. So he can go for the ab crunch. He can rotate his waist. He can You can have him go up. Please don't break, sir. For the legs, his legs can go up that far. They can go back that far. He can do the more than the four splits. His knees get uh can bend. They can also do this, which is unnatural. And now for comparisons to main line figures, such as set him right to there. He is about Legends class size. Here we have Chop Shot. And here we have the money producer. Hooray for producing money. And here he is next to a Lego minifigure. If... There, now you can see it better. Now for transformation. Let's take out his gun. Set it to the side. So, let's, so first you want to rotate the arms. Get them out of the way for now. Move. Rotate his legs like so. Do that on the other side. This is. This will flip out. And now you want to move his arms down. Please don't break. Rotate them down. That is a very flimsy connection. So you might want to rotate this first, get them facing the right direction, and then move it down. This is very flimsy, which is why I don't like messing with it. So I move the arms, because I just realized my mistake, but whatever, we're moving on. Do that on the other side, move the leg up, rotate, bend that down. No, that's, in, or, okay, so this is the hardest part of the transformation because I forgot how to transform my own figure. Yay. Uh, I'm going to get like a fingernail in right here tr and try and split it without breaking it because it is possible to do without breaking, but it might break. Uh, rotate that to the side to get it out of the way. Rotate this down. Rotate his head. Fold that in. Rotate this back up. Tab it back in. Rotate that. If you... Now, you move the arms down. Like so. Move the legs. And now you have Scavenge in his, whatever this is, bird mode. Dragon mode. I don't know, but it's some sort of flying winged animal. Yay. Uh, nothing too special. For articulation for this bird, is this can go up. Squirrel. It can go down. You can rotate it if you want. You can look from side to side. The, the, the neck goes up. Neck goes down. The wing can move up here. You can flap it like that. Please don't break. Or you can flap it right there. As for the legs. They don't really do much. And I don't really like moving them. Because of how flimsy of a connection that right there is. Now, if you want to store his gun, please don't break. Arms or legs or whatever you are. 
the arms go into the legs. Transform into the legs, whatever. So you just rotate that part piece around. Drop that in. And now you have a fur flying bird with a gun. Hooray! Pew, 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 pew. It's just a toy. Yeah. Now, for some comparisons with mainline figures, have them be all the way back. For another burb, here we have Laser Beak. Here we also have a Laser Beak, just because I wanted to, even though this Laser Beak is significantly smaller than any other version of Laser Beak, except maybe G1. And here we have Chop Shop. Yay! So now, the reason he's called Scavenge is because uh, I just used the leftover parts that I had from my other two LEGO Transformer sets. When you'll see those, or not sets, but LEGO sets that I used to make my Transformers. And you'll see those two very shortly. And then there's another one that I didn't, use, that I didn't create using those sets. Anyway, I'm going to hope that I can make some sort of Minicon combiner using just these leftover parts. So to get Scavenge into his combiner mode, first what you want to do is bring the wings up to get them out of the way. Make fold back the arms, fold in the arms, not sure what you really call this, but split them back how you would for robot robot mode. Then rotate them down. Can you oh, can you not break, sir? Thank you. Rotate them down. Huh. Beeping. Anyway. Rotate the legs down. Now, fold the wings. Fold them up, like right there. Please don't break, sir. Uh, this was right here. So just rotate this back down. You can leave it up. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. But I do have a, some, a somewhat solid idea of how he'll look. Fold the wing back, fold it out like so. Now it looks like that. And now, uh, this is subject to change. Which you're either I'm going to have the uh, upper torso connect right here like that, or connect up here like that. Maybe even have it connect right here, right here with that clip. I am not sh fully sure yet, but this is. But everything else is going to remain, for the most part, the same. Uh, this is all subject to change if I find better ideas. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Do all this. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you like. I know I haven't posted in a while. And the reason for that is, I'm lazy.